Oh, tell me about this look, girl. <laughs> well, um, it's I, beautiful. I Thank you. I, I think most people know me to be like, you know, um, the sexy goth. Yes. Yeah, yes. you know, because, I mean, growing up in Germany, I, that, that it's part of, like, you know, the, the youngsters, you know, the culture. So yeah. I just trying to introduce it to my, you know, to my daddy and stuff. Gang, gang. Hey, wow. Um, well, I love okay. you guys. Oh, you love them, don't you? Yeah, yeah. But I don't do. you get people looking at you in a funny way, wondering why she dressed like this? Um, I think of, I don't know. It's part of me. I've been dressing like this for a while, since my childhood. You know, black is, you know, my favorite color. I remember my mom used to, like, really yell, yeah, Wendy, why are, you, why are you always in black? Why, mm -hmm. are you, why are you always wearing funeral colors? And I'm like, I just love black. Oh, your mom always asked you that? Yeah, when I was young. My mom used to really, like, get mad at me. For you wearing know, black? For wearing black, because I used to wear black, like, almost every day. What so. was the reason for this choice of, of color? Is there something in your childhood, you know, yes. that affected, <laughs> affected your... Oh. Oh no, I just, it's, it's just my happy color, you know. Okay. I just love black. You know, I feel like black is the mother of all colors, so. And I, it I, is. I represent, you know, motherhood, mother. Are you, are you a mother? Yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a mother to my fans, to my shape. Hey! Okay. I actually, I actually thought, ignore that one. But, but I actually thought that you were going to say, oh, I had a baby last year, which is oh, why I disappeared, I mean, and all those things. Hopefully, very soon. Something you're definitely something, working Yeah, to. let's see. But, but um, right now, you know, I make music. I feed people through my music. So yeah. I am a mother. Did you go quiet for a while? Um, I would say that I, I, there's always, you know, the, the season of, of sowing and the season of harvesting. So for me, sowing is, you know, recording. Okay. Improving on my skills and craft. Okay. It's, I wouldn't say I laid low. I was. I'm, I, I released an EP. Yeah. I mean, six months ago. And yeah, I'm but promoting. even before then, and when you unveiled the new hair color and all that. Oh, that was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I that know. was in 2021. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say no. I was still working. I mean, I released a couple of songs. I released Emergency. I released Decision. Yeah. I released, you know, and then I released Heat. Mm -hmm. But even before then, I had released Nobody. I. I, I mean, I've been working. I, there is no time. There is no sleep for me. Yeah at all no I see that and there's <laughs> always this debate about you being the hardest working female musician but for some reason you're not getting the recognition that you deserve mm -hmm. you've seen those comments a couple of times haven't you I, I don't think so because you, I feel like I I mean right uh, you know under six months I got the best new artist of the year yeah I mean I, I've gotten so many awards I have about 14 awards in my room wow. If, if you could go back and change something about how your career started, what would it be? It was just perfect because um, it has made me the woman that I am today. And it has actually shaped my character and my personality. Okay. So, I, um, I mean, it was very tough, hard, challenging. But then because I overcame that, it, it has actually, you know, shaped me into who I am today. Who, who, who? Who would you say you've become now? Okay, so that's different from who you were before. Yeah. Okay. I would say that um, it has actually made me very spiritual, very hardworking, mm. and um, made me realize the realities of the world and the industry that I am in. It's and made you very spiritual. Yes, it you has. You weren't that before. No. When I, I mean, growing up in Germany, you know, you don't really see spirituality like that. But when I came to Ghana, obviously. Mm. I faced a lot of spiritual battles. Attacks? Yes, of course. You did? Yes, of course. I mean, it's, I mean, it's normal everywhere. And I mean, this music thing is, is you know, music itself is a spirit. So um, it is not, I mean, what is so special about me that people will, will, will like to come and watch me perform? Mm -hmm. There should be something that is beyond me yeah. that is actually making that happen. And so um, it has actually made me know who I really am. Mm -hmm. Um, I knew I always wanted to do music, but you know, knowing your purpose and really working a purpose, um, you know, living a purpose driven life is, is different. It is different. Yes, and, is different. and that is what I am right now. I, I, I live very purposely, and um, you know, I, I am very um, mindful 
of okay. whatever. You talk about spiritual attacks. Can you tell us one instance where you got attacked some way, somehow spiritually and how you overcame I it? I think, you know, this this thing should be like a, like it should be a conversation for another day. Okay. You know, apart from, you know, me being spiritual, it has actually made me very hardworking mm. because I always have to, you know, I'm always on my toes because I know that I didn't receive love in the beginning. So mm. there is always this thing that is pushing me to work harder and, you know, go get out of my comfort zone as a woman yeah. to, yeah. you know, work it must harder. Have really, it, it must have really affected you in the beginning, like you said, that mm -hmm. you didn't receive the love almost immediately. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that affected you some way, somehow. Um, you know, living in a community or, you know, Germany, where I thought um, racism was a thing, I was quite... Um, is it not heartbroken, but you know, I raised my eyebrows, you know, getting mm. that treatment for my own people. Mm. You know, it was, it was very, um, I, was, I don't even get the right word to say. Did but you try it, to understand Ghanaians from their points of view, where they were coming from, the fact I do, that they were just I do, mourning? I do, I, do, un I, I do understand. That is why I said I came at the right time. Rather, even though people say you came at the wrong time because they were now getting over or now I mean, just coming to the realization. I, not, not, not for that, but yeah. then I came at the right time for my career. Okay. Because I feel like um, everything that I have achieved, also the time that I came into the industry played a big role. Mm. Mm. Because, I mean, um, it is everybody's prayer or every artist's prayer to get the attention. Yeah. And for me, I did get the attention, whether it was good or bad. And given that opportunity, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't play with it. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you know, when life throws lemons at you, you just make lemonade out of it. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And here you are today yeah. doing amazing things. Like Has Ghana woken up yet? You kept asking us to wake up <laughs> all the time. And it's like, every, even if you dropped a dot on Twitter, you'd trend for it. It's like people <laughs> were just waiting for the next thing you'd say. And then you came with Ghana wake up when you were addressing some issues. At the moment, what is it that Ghana is doing that's not right and we need to wake up for? Well, whenever I say Ghana wake up, I always say this, that, you know, the starting point of success mm. is um, knowing, you know, the reality. So I always want, you know, my people, the youth, mm -hmm. to wake up to the truth. Whatever truth it is. I mean, the truth is really ugly sometimes and yeah. very hurtful. But then we should learn to accept the truth mm -hmm. and, and, and just look ourselves in, in the mirror and change whatever we have to change in ourselves. Because it's, it's, it's really hard to look in the mirror. And, and I can imagine how hard it is to be a young Ghanaian mm -hmm. with so much pressure coming from everywhere, from your family, mm -hmm. expectations from them so you can also make money and take care of everyone. Mm -hmm. Then there's also pressure on social media. Mm -hmm. For you, how do you juggle all this? I'll say, first of all, it's by God's grace. It's, you know, his strength. And um, I have good people around me. Like, you should always surround yourself with positive people because it really affects you. Yeah. And then um, I'll say that, you know, I think I've said it somewhere before. Yeah. With all these cyberbullying and the critics and all of that, I go by the, you know, by this mantra, Psalm 23. Okay. Because I feel like, you know, it's all part of it for God's glory to shine on you. Yeah. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. he's going to lay a table, if, you before know, before you, you in the presence of your enemies. Yeah. I mean, if there are no enemies, how can you enjoy this glory? Exactly. Can, it's nice. Imagine your hater watching, watching you, you are just, you know, scooping the ice cream in your lips and you're like, mm. And you're enjoying it right and now. And you're enjoying Wait, it. Let's do Psalm 23 <laughs> from start to finish. Psalm 23. Okay, so the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He, 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 I want to swear. What's the name? For his name's sake. Yeah, okay. though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your word and your staff, they comfort me. And you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. 
surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah! 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 Are we, are we, we getting this? <laughs> are we getting Pastor Shea coming <laughs> soon or something? Yeah, 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 versatile. It's me, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. What's your I know. <laughs> what would you say has been the highest moment in your career? Wow. I, there are so many high moments in my mm. career. You know, the most important thing for me is that, you know, music is, is food for the soul, like I already mentioned. Mm -hmm. So being able to connect with individuals, you know, on a personal and deep level, yeah. that is something money can buy, mm -hmm. uh, that happiness. And being able to, you know, share my experiences, you know, like I already mentioned, being yeah. cyberbullied. Mm -hmm. I have people who call me to help them and give them advices on how to, you know, um, cope with whatever they're going through. So to be able to lend a hand in such situations, it's, it's just priceless and it satisfying. Is. I think one of the, and of course, um, my high moments, I'm making money. You are making a lot of, of money? Of course, I am. From your music? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's nice. I am, I am. And make, you know, the recognition, yeah, I've, I've, like I said, awards. Yeah, they are all things yeah. that, you know, keeps you motivated. You're still a rough town? Yes, I am 100%. Still, yes, I am still There's a, a former time. record, um, well, label mate, mm. who said that she left the label because, first of all, she felt like she had to perform at 50 shows before she could make money. Mm -hmm. And so she's happy that she finally left. She's making money her own way. I'm sure you heard that um, no. statement. You did it from Fantana no. in one of her interviews that she granted. No. Is it true that you have to work maybe perform at 50 shows or more before you can make money as a musician on Rough Town Music? No, no, at all. I am making music, you know? I mean, a song like Survivor, top charts in South Africa, in Kenya. I was the most streamed female artist last year on Ooh. Boom Play. Ooh. So I am, so I am making money from my music, you, you know? I mean, the streaming platforms on Spotify, and um, boom play, like I already mentioned, audio mark, Apple Music. I get money when I'm even sleeping. Mm. Yes, that is how lucrative m music business is. Wow. Yes, so I, I don't know about what she's Other, talking yeah. about. I For mean, you, you've made your money. And I, I am. I, once you're working hard, you are going to make your money. And plus the, the, the shows, you know, offline too, you make a lot of money. Ambassadorial discount, you know, so. Is it annoying when they constantly compare female artists in the industry? And I know they compare you a lot, and you've seen it, I'm sure, mm. with all kinds of female artists. I, I mean, the most recent one would be Jackie. Okay. And I've seen a lot of people compare you to Jackie and say that, you know, where Jackie is, they, this is what they want for Wendy Shea, and they wish that you had gotten there. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they compare your vocal prowess and all that. Do you see that sometimes, and how does it make you it's, feel? It's actually not fair to, you know, compare two talented people because um, we are all shining, and that is what I love about um, what is going on right now in the industry. It's not like, you know, gone are the days where it was just one female artist shining or just two, of, uh, two male artists shining. But yeah. right now, you know, the sky is so big to contain so many stars. And I, like I said, everyone is shining. We are all making our money. I mean, yeah. So I, it's not fair to, you know, compare someone. I mean, I've been doing and giving hits back to back for five years. Yeah. <laughs> so. There is not. You can no. There, there shouldn't be any comparison. Do you feel a bit of pressure that some of your colleagues are going ahead of you, getting all the international recognition, and you're still, you know, like people okay. insinuate, mm -hmm. you're still not getting that high like the others? I, I am. I, you know, I mean, like I said, Survivor really opened doors for me. It did. So, um, yes, I am an international artist as well, and I am. Hello. I am. And I and. and yeah. I am working towards it to become a global artist. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 you know, like they say that the, the race is not for the swift. Mm -hmm. Once you're working hard and, and working on yourself, you are going to get wherever you put your mind to. I don't watch anything around me. I don't watch, oh, that's why you, I don't even go on social media. I realized. No, I don't know what is going on. You stop tweeting. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's because, you know, the music takes so much of my time, and 
one thing, I, I tweeted something last time that every artist, whilst you are working hard on your craft, you should work on your attitude as well. Yeah. Um, like I said, look, look at yourself in the mirror mm -hmm. and then really be real to yourself because if you don't work on your attitude, your music will take you, but then your attitude will bring you back. So it should be handy. And working on yourself takes a lot of energy as well. Mm. So I don't have time. Not anymore. So it's not because you were bullied constantly on Twitter, which is why you oh, took a step back? I mean, not necessarily. I wasn't talking about Twitter. I mean, more I do tweet, yeah. but it's just that I am focusing and channeling my energy on you know, things. I do say my mind, or when I feel like saying something, I come on Twitter and do it, yeah. you know? But then I'm trying to say that, you know, like, wasting my time and, you know, reading what people say about me and yeah. those comparison things. I don't have time for but that. But when you were bullied on Twitter, and I saw that all the time. Yes, I was. I was bullied on Twitter. I wouldn't say it's, it's I don't wish that for even my enemy. But like I said, um, it has made me tough and it, is, it has been my fool to actually always be a better version of myself. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about new stuff. Okay. New stuff that you're working on. Tell us yeah. all about that. So like I said, I, I released Enigma EP. Yeah. I'm promoting Heaven and, mm -hmm. and very soon Habibi video will also be available. Yes. <laughs> You know what, heaven, there's no boyfriend. So we shall allow you to live your life, Charlie. On let's, earth. let's let's live our life while we are here. Cause mm. yo, I but I'm not sure who's here cause broken hearts and say yeah. Is it because you got a broken heart <laughs> that's why you released that song? Did you get a broken heart? Oh, I feel like you know after after such you know um, I'll say misery. You should you should get out of it and then you know have fun. Don't give me political answer. Did oh, you get no. a broken heart? Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. Is that what led to this song? Survivor, yeah. that is what led to Survivor. That oh. is what made me write Survivor. Who broke your heart? I am not going to. It's dead? gone. It's gone. Who dead to He's, break your heart? The, the person is, is dead and gone. Right now, we move. We move. Yeah, we move. And you're in a better place now. Definitely. I'm having fun. I'm looking beautiful. Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> so at the moment, are you in a serious relationship? <laughs> Right now, I'm, I'm single and, you know, but then I, I, I'm, I, I'm searching, lady, I'm searching like this. Hey, okay. With my eyes wide open. I see. <laughs> what are you looking for? Very you picky. He, he must know the Bible back to back, I'm sure. Um, I mean, onim kramit mi but then, uh, you know, the person should just understand the job that I am doing. Mm. And because, you know, it's really hard for hardworking women to, yeah, to have a is. stable relationship because of our schedules. And I know. But you also practice as a nurse. Are you still a nurse? And I'm, I, would, I would say I, I am still a nurse because I'm nursing people through my music. You have Hello. No, you, yes. <laughs> You have no idea how many women and even some men have come up to me to tell me that Survivor actually saved them yeah. from a lot of heartbreak. It's funny how people take broken hearts like, oh, it's just them. No, it is, it is two souls joined together that has been ripped apart. Yeah. Definitely, you're not going to be the same. It's either you become better or you become worse. So... You know, people listening to my song and get, getting healed. Yeah. I am Mitchell Dr. Craft. I know. Dr. Wendy Shea. Dr. Oh, yeah. Doctor. But if, if you could go back in time, would you still be a nurse? Definitely. I okay. mean, I have a very big heart and I am very compassionate. So um, I would always want to help people. And I'm actually doing that through, the, um, through my, sh um, my NGO, Shea yeah. Foundation. Yeah. I mean, I help the least, less privileged mm -hmm. um, orphanages. I go to leprosariums. I, I do all of that. You can actually check me out on Instagram. It's called Shea Foundation. Yeah. Yes. You're so doing I'm still a good nursing. Job. Yeah, thank you. What keeps you motivated? My fans. So if there are basic things that you need to survive in the music industry uh -huh. for you, what will those skills be? I would say um, hard work. Okay. Patience. Mm. Patience? Yes, patience. Why yeah. that in particular? Because you, you should be, you know, sometimes with me releasing Nyumbi and you're like, oh, a new way, what's that? And I say, ah, a new way, I need this, I need that. But you need patience. Mm. Because, you know, like I said, music is like a child. They all have destinies. Mm -hmm. So you should be patient. Like, wow, 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 patience. Yeah. This job is like that. 
it's not an easy one. It's not an easy job. So hard work, patience. Patience and then seeking knowledge. Mm -hmm. Be abreast with time. Be current. Mm -hmm. Be trendy. Mm -hmm. Know what is going on. Like my Enigma EP, for instance, my sound, I have evolved yeah. and changed my sound because that is what is, is messing up the world right now. I mean, right now, Afrobeat is like the, 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 the ish right mm -hmm. now. And so you should learn. And then also learn about the business side in, in, the, in, the, you know, in the music. It's called showbiz. Yeah. That means it's show business. Yeah. I think you shouldn't, don't be a typical artist. Mm -hmm. Probably someone is going to say, what is a typical musician? A typical musician is a musician who only does music, yeah. only records. You shouldn't be a typical musician. You should have knowledge, seek knowledge about how the business, how to create content, how to market your music as well. I mean, right now, social media is the itch. So learn how to learn. You know, put your Learn, learn, and learn. And when we get back, we have a game to play with Wendy Shea. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Yeah.